Councillor Addison Moore. <coughs> Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Uh, may I first send my condolences to Carolyn and Mark Thatcher and their family, and to Margaret Thatcher's many friends and colleagues, not least those uh, here in Barnet, specifically in Finchley. For more than 30 years, uh, Margaret Thatcher represented the residents of Finchley as their MP. And politics aside, I am sure that Margaret Thatcher serves the constituency every bit, it, constituents every bit as diligently as the successors, the attending events, visiting schools, dealing with casework and local issues. However, we all recognise that Margaret Thatcher was no ordinary MP. Whether you agreed with her politically or not, she was a remarkable woman. Uh, she didn't just make her personal mark, in many ways she broke the mould. And while I take issue with her legacy, I think we'd all agree that she changed the country. She was a woman of huge energy and tenacity and courage, and the younger generation should not underestimate the challenges she faced and the significance of what she achieved in becoming Prime Minister. She was elected in Finchley in 1959, before a growing uh, number of councillors in this chamber were born, having already contested two previous elections, and at a time when a woman's place in the workplace Never mind in politics, it's very different from today. Margaret Thatcher's ability to overcome every obstacle in her path is just one measure of her personal strength, though not necessarily, of course, uh, 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 something that uh, I always agree with. She was a student in Oxford, uh, when not a single woman in the university held full professorship, and a scientist at a time when most people assumed the scientists were men, and when those few women who were determined to have an academic career did not have an easy time. It obviously stick in her reserve, and she went on to become the first woman Prime Minister. Um, there's much uh, to be debated, and has much, there's been much debate in the past week about just what she did or, or, or did not do for women. But as a woman, and actually as a scientist, carving my career in the early days of her premiership, I have to say I did see little support for women in or out of the workplace. The university and the research sector suffered badly. Um, through repeated cuts and the lack of investment in science and technology resulted in a damaging brain drain that affected the economy and our ability to compete. And I think that was hugely uh, to the discredit in that, at that point. It took years to, 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 to reverse that decline. But actually it wasn't in, just in academia and te technology. As a student travelling up and down to Leeds, you couldn't miss the decline of the steel industry and, and, and be aware, acutely aware of the communities um, affected by the pit closures. However, while I may disagree with her policies, her political style, combining a strong sense of ideology with a very household budget approach rooted in an everyday, struck a chord with many voters at the time. She believed that democracy was about giving people a choice and recognised aspiration, an approach, I think, that has defined politics of our generation also. At its best, a drive for self-sufficiency and self-improvement. But at its worst, and I think we would all recognise this, at its worst, the development of a slightly selfish, me-first culture uh, that was encouraged by the idea that there's no such thing as society. And that, I fundamentally believe in my politics is rooted in that there is such a thing as society. It meant that thousands were able to buy their council houses, and I think many would celebrate that. But it left local councils struggling to meet housing needs as stocks diminished and they were unable to build more. So they bought and lost their jobs, lost their homes too. Um, and it could be argued that the housing crisis is, that we currently face is partly rooted there. However, she was a woman of deep convictions, willing to act on them, determined to drive forward with their policies. I have to be honest, I oppose much of what she did, but I acknowledge the strength as a leader and the impact she had on British politics and the country. She was a woman who carved her place in the history books with passion and determination. And history will judge the good and the not so good in that legacy. My sympathy goes to her family and her friends. They have lost a genuinely remarkable woman. But I confess my heart also goes to that lost generation whose lives were damaged by the policies, some of the policies she pursued. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Thank you,